was just fully engulfed. I mean, all four businesses. This was one of the most popular strips of bars in Dallas. Now it's in ruins. Greg Murko owned two of the four bars that were destroyed. It's almost like a bad dream, you know? You, you get the call and you're like, uh, really? It is real. Real for the owners and employees. Real for the customers who came out to watch their watering holes burn and real for the 80 firefighters who responded here. When firefighters got here, they said that they could see fire going the 40 to 50 feet into the air. Those flames spread quickly through an attic, taking out the entire block. Total destruction, but only one minor injury because of the time this took place. This didn't happen on a weekend, that it happened on a Tuesday morning where there weren't any occupants. Um, we could have been looking at a lot worse uh, situation than we have right now. But it really couldn't be worse for those who worked here. A fire just two weeks before the busiest day of the year, St. Patrick's Day. Pull up and see uh, everything I built up for nine years gone. The party will go on, but I'm not sure how we're going to be involved in it or not. The one injury to a firefighter who was overcome by smoke while working on one of the ladder trucks. He is expected to be all right. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Dallas.